Good afternoon. Today is the 18th of June. The weather is a bit miserable and um, it's time to do a little update on the video I released last week about the fact that I'd reached 200 subscribers on YouTube. So that was a, a really big milestone um, for the Lloyd Vehicle Consulting YouTube channel. And I'm ever so grateful to uh, everybody who has helped me get that far, everybody who's liked and commented or disliked or whatever. And um, it's gonna be um, a fun little rest of the year, I think. Right, now that I've got that sneeze out of the way, um, we can continue with the video. Um, so yes, um, thank you to those who've been in touch, um, offering me um, the vehicles to uh, review. Um, I've had a lot of um, offers, and um, I'm pleased to say, that in addition to the cars that I've already listed, um, and we'll go over those again quickly, um, I've now been offered a 2002 Citroen Saxo, very similar actually to what the car I drive in, which should be very, very interesting indeed. Um, a Saab 95, which uh, I think it's an Aero, which is even better. I mean, uh, Matt from Furious Driving did a Saab 95 car recently, but he didn't do an Aero, so I'm really looking forward to that one. Um, then we've got um, a uh, 1999 Alfa Romeo GTV, which I've actually already seen on um, one of my videos, I'm not going to say which one. Um, then um, a 1984 Volvo 360, possibly also a 1986 Volvo 360, but we'll have to see about that. Um, and a 1997 Volvo 940 Classic. Um, you might actually have seen that again in one of the videos I did earlier. And I'm sort of getting my hands in the way of the camera. So. I've just realised if I put the uh, light on in the back of the set, I get a bit more... Um, a bit more ambient lighting in here it's actually strangely makes a lot of difference for some reason um so that's good um so yes um i have had a um very successful sort of 10 days or so um since that video came out um the rover 200 coupe video has been well received despite the audio issues we had and um yes we've had four different offers of of cars to come through which is which is wonderful um, so I'll be adding that to the list. I've also got though a few other cars I'd like to review that I left off. Um, definitely want to do um, a 1980s Rover 200. That's the um, the SD3 shape, the one that's in keeping up appearances. Or if it's a Honda Ballard, which is the same thing, uh, that would be wonderful too. I prefer the 216 um, EFI Vanden Plaat or Vitesse. Really, um, I don't really want to do a 213, but I could do, I suppose, they're not very common. Um, or the Honda Ballard version. Um, also, yes, yeah, other Saabs. Um, maybe um, something like a Saab 93 or a 900. Um, that would be great. I'll put that in the, in the list. And then um, I'll just go over quickly once I've, uh, I've got that in front of me what cars you're going to see on the channel, um, probably before the end of the year, hopefully and um, which ones um, I'm still looking for. So, um, coming up next month, we've got a 2016 Seat Lane ST, um, 2017 Nissan Duke, and um, a 1998 Audi A3. Then um, in September, we've got um, 2018 Toyota Prius. Um, then we've got the Saab 95, and possibly the Citroen Saxo. Um, I might switch that with the Skoda Rapid, we'll have to see how that goes. Um, other cars for later this year, 2015 Audi A3, 2017 Mercedes-Benz C-Class, um, 2017 Skoda City Go, 2018 Volvo XC90, 2019 MG ZSEV, 2,900 Jazz, 1972 um, Rover 2000, 2000 Alfa Romeo 145 Cloverleaf, 2001 Mini Cooper, um, 2002 Alfa Romeo 166, and then of course we've got um, the 1999 Alfa Romeo GTV, the 1997 Volvo 940 Classic, and um, the 84 86 Volvo 360. Please do bear in mind um, with sending me cars through for a review, um, it would have to be um, probably either the back end of this year or next year that I might get to them. 
um, because we've we've blocked out for um, July and, and uh, September, which are the main two filming blocks I've got, which ones we're doing. So it's going to have to be um, a little bit later on, um, as long as you don't mind that. You know, we might get to them a bit more quickly, but um, yeah, I've been inundated with cars to review, which is wonderful, but it just means I have to work things out logistically a little bit better. Um, so we've got a Volvo 240 Estate, um, Volvo 440, 460, Volvo 480, um, Austin or MG Maestro or Montego. Then we've got the Rover Metro, um, specifically a GTA or, GT or a GS model. Then we've got an MG Metro, 4 Fiesta Mark II gear. Um, obviously, I would probably do a, um, an XR2 as well, but yes, yeah, so XR2 or gear. Uh, Ford Sierra, really any Sierra. Uh, Ford Escort Mark II R RS2000. Triumph Dollar Might Sprint, Triumph TR7, Rover Bumper MGB, Rover 600, Ford Capri Mark III. I'd love the 3-liter S, but really any Ford Capri Mark III, to be honest. Suzuki Kazashi, Chevrolet Epica, uh, Deu Nexia or an Espero, Hyundai Sonata or Kia Magentis. Um, an MG6, preferably a post-2015 version. Um, a Kia Seed, Lotus Elan, any type of Lotus Elan. Um, Gentle Interceptor and the Rover 800. And then, of course, uh, I'll add to that the uh, 1980s Rover 200 that was known as the SD3. Um, preferably a 216 EFI, Vitesse or Vandenplatz. And uh, finally, um, the Honda Ballard, which is the same kind of car anyway. Many of you will know that the uh, Rover Tomcat Coupe that um, was reviewed earlier this month belongs to Matt Richardson from Furious Driving. Um, Matt was going to be on the Hubnut stand at the Bromley Pageant this weekend with, um, you know, obviously in Seabrook and some other people um, from, in Seabrook is the person who runs Hubnut, by the way, if you don't know who he is. Um, he's hoping to bring, I think it's with Ryan Fox there. So um, that should be a good thing to do. Um, I'm also going to be going to Bromley Pageant. I'm going with one of my um, old friends who lives in the area. And uh, we'll do, obviously, another slightly symbolic shuffle. Um, possibly multiple videos at Bromley Pageant because there'll be loads to see, um, which will be very exciting. So I'll get to see Matt. We'll meet up with him. But if any of the rest of you are going to be um, at Bromley Pageant this, this weekend, um, it's on Sunday, which is the 23rd of June, um, at Norman Park in Bromley, which is in South East London. Um, then please do get in touch and let me know. Um, my email address is japl745 at hotmail.com. I'll put it in the description as well. And uh, yes, if you do wish for, to submit another car for, for review, um, then that's, that's wonderful. I'd love to, to hear from you, if, particularly if you've got anything on that list. Um, then uh, please make sure that, as I've said before, you put the title of the... Um, the car that you have in the subject line for the email and um, you just give me an indication of which location that you are in which just really helps with our planning. So I hope you found that video um, informative. Um, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more updates. Um, don't forget to let me know obviously if you're going to be at Bromley this weekend. Um, don't forget to like this video and leave a comment below. There's a lot more coming up. I mean, we've got, um, after the Bromley pageant, we've got um, videos on um, the Cars of the Avengers and the Professionals that have been filmed for the next weekend after that. We've got uh, Goodwood uh, Festival of Speed coming up next month. There's so plenty going on. Um, and then obviously more Tweed Jacket reviews filmed next month, which should be fun. Um, we've then got um, lots more entertaining stuff um, for, you know, different sort of, cars um, that are best selling in various months and things like that so um, please visit my Facebook page for, for more information on what's coming up it is facebook.com forward slash Lloyd Vehicle Consulting and as ever if you wish for me to source a car for you then um, please visit my website and get in touch using the contact tab on the home page and that's www.lloydvehicleconsulting.co.uk Thank you very much indeed once again for watching.